Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite beauty products in the month of February. So if you want to see what they were, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And February, let me just say... I started going back into the building and to work every single day. I've started getting my students back, so I'm doing hybrid teaching, but I'm still teaching kids in person. So this month has, has been an adjustment. It's almost been a year that I was working from home. So as you can imagine, I haven't had much time this month. And I say every month I'm so busy, but this month for real. I was really, really busy. So the only time that I wore makeup this month was when I was testing new products for you guys. So all of the products in today's video are new to me that I tried this month. I don't have any old favorites here because I really was testing products whenever I had the opportunity to. So let's just get into it. Normally I would start off with the channel of the month. I don't have one this month. I haven't been able to consume YouTube like I normally do. So I wanna make sure when I bring you a channel, it's definitely a channel that I believe in and that I love watching. So we don't have that this month. So let's get into the products. So the first one that I have is from Milani. It is the Supercharged Dewy Primer. And I think this is really nice. I got a very sweet PR package from Milani. This was one of the items in that package. And it's definitely my favorite thing from this collection. If you have dry skin, especially now that it's winter, I think that you will really enjoy this. It does create a semi-dewy base, nothing crazy, a glowy like some other primers I've dealt with. For for me, what I like most about this is how lightweight it feels on the skin and how hydrating it is. So if you're looking for an affordable hydrating primer, this is really nice. There is fragrance to this though, so if your skin is sensitive to fragrance, you might not go want to go for this. But overall, the collection that Milani came out with, with all the other corresponding products to this, are also nice. But this is the one that I found myself reaching for and I love a good drugstore primer. The next item that I have is not drugstore. It's the Auric Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer in the shade Selenite. I've been using this nonstop. I like to use it underneath my makeup all over, and then I like to put like a lightweight foundation on top that doesn't have too much coverage. This is really awesome if you love glowing skin. And what I like about this as well is that I feel like it's more hydrating than other glowy products that I put on my face because I feel like sometimes those glowy primers can actually be a bit drying to the skin. This is one that is actually hydrating. It's creamy. It's thick. It gives you a little bit of coverage with it, which I think is awesome. I think Samantha did a fabulous job with this. It's one of my favorite go-to products. I find myself reaching for it pretty much every time I put on makeup. I think it's a really fabulous, well done, luxurious formula and I highly, highly recommend it. The next product that I have are blushes and unfortunately I think they're out of stock and I don't know if they will be putting this product back in stock but it's these ColourPop blushes. So it came out with their, what is it, their Valentine's Day collection and I did receive the collection in PR but these blushes really stood out to me. They're kind of like the Too Faced blushes that they have this really cute packaging but... Oh, these blushes are beautiful. So I'm currently wearing the shade Kiss and Tell. It's a beautiful peachy shade. And even the shade that looks really scary, which is Love Me Not, which looks like this, it's so sheer, but it still blends out beautifully and it still applies an even amount of color to the cheek as well. These seem very high quality to me. And ColourPop does blushes really well. It's one of the products that I feel like is very high quality for the price that you pay. So I particularly love the colors that they chose in this collection and it just makes me happy to use them because the packaging is so cute. So if they ever do a restock on these, definitely run to try and get these because they're a great formula with great colors. A ton of new highlighters have come out recently that are so good. So we'll start off with the one that I'm wearing today. This I received in PR. This is the Aether Beauty Supernova Crushed Diamond Highlighter. And I've never tried anything from Aether Beauty before they sent me this PR package. And now I'm thinking I need to try some things from Aether Beauty. Since they are such a clean, sustainable brand, I feel like most of the time those brands gravitate towards a more natural makeup, which it's not normally my vibe, you know? 
So <laughs> I was so shocked at how glam and pretty this highlighter is. It actually has some like micro sparkles, but it's flattering. You know, it obviously doesn't smooth the skin, but it gives such a glam highlight for a dramatic eye look. So I love how my eye look has like a glittery eyelid and then how the glitter comes out onto my cheek. It's not chunky glitter by any means, but it's glam and I love it and I love everything that the brand stands behind. I, th I feel like I'm being so eco-conscious <laughs> by using this brand. They don't even put magnets or mirrors in the packaging because it's supposed to be better for the environment and the product itself is so good. It, it really is like a crushed diamond highlighter it's beautiful i wish more people would talk about this product because it's amazing the next highlight that i tried this month was also from that color pop valentine's day collection this is the soul face and body highlighter in pink truffle i've been really into pink highlighters lately and you'll see that with my next choice as well now this is a very soft formula so mine kind of broke but it's so beautiful and for the price you get so much product and it's very very reflective so if you like a reflective highlighter i really think you will like this again it's going to give you that glam kind of finish to the skin and just the price and everything i've been grabbing for it a lot it just gives that beautiful bright not pink because it's not pink but it's a very very light pink and it's very reflective cheek so it blends in beautifully with a pink blush and all of the pink looks that I've been doing for the month of February. The last highlighter this is so good. So I haven't really ever been too into the Pat McGrath highlighting formula. I know my hair is just like it's having a day today. It's rainy but this is the best highlighter that Pat McGrath has ever come out with. I did not like her holiday highlighter. This is the Divine Rose Skin Fetish Ultra Glow Highlighter. And it is such a unique shade. It's like a pinky gold shade. And, oh, you guys, it is a smoothing formula. Okay, that was like not a good swatch. But it's so reflective. And what I love most about this is how it blends into the skin. So one of my requests for a good highlighter like if i ever had to create a highlighter it would be how it blends into the skin i don't want a highlighter to blend onto the skin i want it to blend into the skin so the highlighter looks one with my skin and this is a formula that does it and i think what also makes this highlighter stand out is the unique shade that it is so i've been thoroughly enjoying this everything else that i bought from this divine rose collection i wasn't as impressed with like the liquid lipsticks were so dry and she's coming out with new liquid lipstick colors and i wish i could be happy about it but i don't like her formula the quad was also very very pretty but nothing unique this to me is unique and it is my number one favorite thing from that collection let's move on to eyes now i have a lot of eye products i tried some really great palettes this month some really great just not even eyeshadows but other formats of eye shades so let's get into it so this month i did a sponsorship with vesca beauty and i was so excited because these what are they moonlit dream cream shadows are incredible i highly suggest you check out my review video on these because you'll see exactly how versatile these are and how beautiful they are again vesca beauty they're more about natural makeup so i wasn't expecting much from these i thought they were going to kind of be sheer and underwhelming but I was wrong these are a great metallic eyelid shade it's like a liquid shadow it dries down it lasts a very long time and it almost dries into a powder so you can blend the edges you can mix and match other shades and they're beautiful glittery shades so if you like a glam eye but you're looking for something easy like a 10 second eye that you can just put all over the lid you're going to love these again check out my original sponsor video because you'll see these in action how i made a whole glam glowy glittery look using these they are incredible now this brand has a lot of awesome products but you have to add at least one of these onto your order my favorite shades are lyra which is a light glittery pink and then karina which is more of a bronze tone I also made a couple orders off of Chanel this month, and I was pleasantly surprised by their eyeshadow liner coat in the shade Beige Pearl. So this came out with their Lace Beiges collection this year, and normally I'm not into these crayon kind of products, 
but there was something about this that was just so easy and quick to put on and I love this color it's just like a neutral kind of light brown it has some reflex in there and I just love to place this along the lower lash line for some definition you can also put it in the waterline because of how versatile the product is it lasts a really long time and oh I also put it all over my eyelid as well and it was just beautiful and so easy to use so quick normally I don't like makeup like this I don't know it's normally too like natural for me I like eyeshadows I like blending shadows that's part of my therapy when it comes to makeup and this kind of takes that away but man I've been loving this it's really awesome and it's nothing I really ever would have gravitated towards I just kind of picked it up to try the formula and I fell in love it's amazing one and done eyeshadow look, you will like it. I also have a single shadow to talk about. You guys know I made a few orders off of some different indie brands and you guys went nuts over this shadow. So this is from Divina Cosmetics and I believe this is an Aurora Flare formula, whatever that means. It's like a multi-duo chrome. This is the shade Berylis. You need to go watch my swatch and sip with my Terra Moons order. You guys went nuts over the look that I was wearing in that video. This was the star of the show. This was what I was wearing all over my eyelid. It's incredible, it's reflective, it's so smooth, and the shade itself is so beautiful, so unique. Literally, I've never gotten more requests for a tutorial. I'm gonna try, I think, to create a short video on YouTube to try and do a quick tutorial. I just wanna see how it goes over. I don't really like to watch the shorts, but I just wanna try it, you know? So anyways, I'm going to try within the next few weeks to get a tutorial up using this shade because it's incredible. Let's talk about the eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing all over my eyes right now. As you know, this month Odin's Eye launched a new collection. It's called the Norns Collection and Odin's Eyes is one of my favorite indie brands and they're definitely rising on my list of favorite brands in general. So the palette that I'm wearing today is the Erd palette and this is such a unique color story. I do not have another palette with this color story and I'm wearing it all over my lid today and there I feel so inspired by this palette even though there are six shades there are so many looks that I can make up in my head that I would want to create with this palette and the number one best thing about Odin's Eye are their glittery lid shades. Now they're not actually pressed glitter, they do have a pressed glitter formula but I was so happy in this collection that they didn't come out with a pressed glitter formula. They just came out with their great reflective sparkly formula. This shade right here, she good. She really good. I'm wearing this shade all over my lid, like the silver shade. You can see how reflective and sparkly it is. I love it. So if you are going to pick up anything from this collection, this one is really, really good. But I also did want to mention their big palette. And honestly, I wasn't moved by this at first. I saw it and I was like, mm, not my color story. I was so wrong, you guys. This palette is, again, so unique. I don't think there's another palette like this on the market. And the different color story really it does inspire me to create different looks than I would normally do. You can get so many different kind of looks. You can get really awesome cool tone looks, plum looks, silver looks, green looks, blue looks, and my personal favorite row down here, these shades, again, that really special sparkly formula that Odin's Eye is able to create while also keeping it at an affordable price. I have been loving this collection this month. Odin's Eye always amazes me with their products and the originality of their products. I have a code, it's called, I think it's Morgan 10. I have to double check, it might be Morgan. It's in my description box and I'll have Jose edit it in here, but yeah. Make sure you use that, it'll save you 10% off. The next eyeshadow palette, how could I not talk about the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette in collaboration with the beautiful Angelica Nikist. Now these aren't my type of colors that I typically go for, but if you guys have been watching, my, I'm really hot right now. I have the heater on and I'm like sweating. Anyways. If you guys have been watching or paying attention to the looks I've been creating in my videos lately, I did so many blue looks this month. And normally, I do not like blue looks on myself, but I did so many blue looks this month. And this played into me feeling inspired to create some blue looks. And 
I think Angelica did a fabulous job of laying this palette out. It's just very easy to create a look with. It's very easy to feel inspired by this palette. Just the way that they're laid out almost guides you to a look, if that makes sense. And as always, Kaleidos also has a fabulous formula, just like Odin's Eye. Odin's Eye and Kaleidos are two brands that when they come out with an idea, it's unique, it's beautiful, it's different, it inspires me, and I really hope to see, you know, with the downfall of Becca, I think other brands are going to follow suit, and I really hope to see indie brands, you know, such as Davina, Odin's Eye, Kaleidos, Terra Moons, many more come a little bit more popular because everything that you're bored about with the mainstream brands, indie brands are on the side doing literally what we're asking for, which is why all of these brands are featured in my favorites this month because they're just doing it better. I tried a lot of mainstream eyeshadows this month as well, but these indie ones are the ones that are standing out to me, so that should say a lot. Let's talk about these eyelashes. So this brand called Black Label reached out to me and I don't know, I'd never really heard of them, but I looked at their website, their lashes look nice, and they offered to send me a couple of pairs, and they're beautiful. Now, if you like really, really dramatic lashes, they also have options for something super dramatic, but as far as what my eyes can handle, I asked them to send me some of their more natural pairs, and as you can see, they aren't even super natural, but they're so fluffy. They are mink lashes, um, they aren't faux mink, but they are so multi-dimensional and they're curled, at least the two styles that I have, and they're beautiful. They make every look that I do look that much better. So I'm wearing this style finesse right now, and only $15, the style that I have. Really great price for a pair of mink lashes. So this is, again, the style, what, finesse? Really beautiful, very thick looking. And then the other style that I have is brazen. And this is one where you can see it's thicker on the outer parts of the eye if you like those style of lashes. Really great indie brand to give your money to and quality lashes. I'm in love with this brand. A video that I uploaded this month was trying Sephora's number one bestsellers. And the Dior lipsticks were the number one bestsellers on Sephora. And I hadn't tried Dior's formula before. Now, as you can see, I love it. Now, I don't, I need to try the other formulas in their range because this is a satin. And the satin isn't as pigmented as I kind of wanted it to be, but mm, I really love the way it smells. It smells like the Guerlain balls. <laughs> it, it does, you know, those ball things. Um, I love this color. This is the color Dantanti. This is the kind of nude lip that I love. And this combo in particular, the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude with the Dior Dantanti lipstick on top. Beautiful. It has a little bit of a sheen to it because it is a satin formula. I just love this nude lip. And the last three videos, I think I've been wearing this combo because these two were made for each other. I love how comfortable this lipstick is. I actually have another Dior lipstick coming in the mail that I made in order again because I love this. Anyways, there we have it. Those are all of my beauty favorites for the month of February. Honestly, I didn't think that I would have so many products that I would feature. I, like, I think back and I'm like, I haven't been loving the makeup releases. But what I have tried has been really, really good. So that's why this video was kind of long. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments what your favorite products for this month were. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.